Yeah, I'm back. <clears throat> but let's just say the the past week has been kind of rough. But I'm back. I kind of feel like I look because I've been like indoors for five days. Tomorrow will be like one week since the accident. So before I tell you a bit more about it, I I figured I'd just fresh up a bit. So much beard and hair and I gotta clean this up. It looks terrible. Let's clean it up. <sighs> much better. So I think you can I think you can see it right here. I have this mark right here. So when I got in the impact, there was no blood on my forehead, but uh, the damage was the damage was inside. So, so tomorrow is seven days since the accident, and uh, I figured I'd tell you the story of when I fractured my skull. So the accident happened last week on a Thursday. It was a regular Thursday morning, uh, on the Wednesday morning I played a game with my team and we got our ass kicked so I was really looking, looking forward to some kind of payback on the next team before the holidays. So I started out the morning like I usually do when I'm vlogging. So it's game time again, we got our ass kicked the last time, that's not gonna happen again. I was getting my breakfast, I was really psyched about the game, started driving into the city, uh, we got to the locker room, we started getting ready, and then finally we got out on the ice and uh, I instantly felt that this, the other team was really good, really fast players, they had a uh, good possession of the ball so we had to play at our really best to get somewhere So a lot of ice skating, chasing them up and down, and uh, it was a hard game. And things were going pretty good, but it was like a few minutes left of the sec of the first period when the accident happened. So the only thing I remember really is that um, we got together somehow, and when he went down, he smashed me in the face. Let's just have a look at it. So when I look at the video, I kind of realized that I tripped the guy and he smashed me in the face on the way down. So I guess that's karma. Because if you look at it really close, I mean, it, it's not only my own fault, but I mean, uh, we got two guys defending here and he's pretty much going for a hole that does not exist and kind of uh, falls on his own grip. So... <sighs> Yeah, it takes more than one guy to dance a tango, you know. So anyway, on the way down, he started rotating and bang, hit me in the head with his stick. The GoPro flew away, but it didn't break, so we got the footage. It doesn't look too bad, but it hurt like hell. So maybe you're wondering if I would have had like a, a face cage. Would this have happened? Probably it would have happened, but uh, I wouldn't got gotten hurt, I think. Just... Uh, Temporary pain in my head, but uh, come on, it's this is not real ice hockey. It's hockey bocce, Swedish rinkbandy. You're playing with this toothpick, and even if you want to, you can't really hurt anybody. I was proven wrong. Yeah, I got hurt, but usually nobody ever gets hurt in this series. So I caught some bad luck. <laughs> That's it. So anyway. After I got hit in the head, the guys helped me get to the bench. 
so I was kind of uh, recovering on the bench and I felt that the pain wouldn't go away I started to breathe faster and uh, if you're like done into details it was I was hit in the forehead so I had like a bleeding going throughout the nose and I started feeling sick because of the concussion so game over <laughs> Uh, started throwing up there in a in a waste paper basket case on the bench and my arms were like numb and I felt like shit so I just said something's wrong call an ambulance they came they picked me up they drove me to the hospital they injected with me morphine started feeling better coming down but I was really out of it so this happened like uh, half past eight in the morning and I uh, I couldn't even look at my phone until like 12 o'clock that day because I was feeling so bad and nauseous and whatever uh, so anyway I was high on painkillers uh, they decided I had to stay in the hospital for the night for observation it was a good call because I was really feeling like shit on the on the evening as well and when the doctor was out of the room I decided to make that video I uploaded Hey guys, just a short video from the hospital just to let you guys know that I was okay but unavailable for a while. So if the doctor had seen me <laughs> making that video or my wife, they would probably have hit me again in the head because the uh, doctor said no more screens, you need to rest your brain. And there I was with my iPhone making my YouTube video in the evening. In the upcoming like four days when I was in my recovery, uh, all, I, I mean you guys posted like 50 comments or something um, only on the YouTube channel to get well, get better, recover. I pretty much read all of them, I couldn't respond but it uh, really felt great and you, you gave me a lot of support during recovery. So uh, that felt great. And also it seems like this incident <laughs> gave me even more subscribers on the YouTube channel because now we have like over 800 it increases really fast so the upcoming days uh, day two of the accident I was in the hospital and they let me go home and uh, I pretty much was just sitting like this for the first days doing nothing whenever I opened my eyes I was like this pressure on my head I think it was a mixture of the fracture here and the concussion and I'm the guy who's used to doing 20 things simultaneously, so I was now doing nothing, <laughs> which was kind of hard. But uh, uh, first three days I couldn't even watch TV, but then it started to get better, and today is like day five of the recovery. And believe me, uh, I tried to pick up the camera and do something. I even tried the drone, but it, my brain wouldn't work, so it just didn't work out. Probably great weather for drone flying today. Look, no clouds, clear sky. Have to figure something out. Look, remember your training. It's up to you now. They totally trust you with this. That's not gonna work out. It's hopeless. But now I'm feeling better, tomorrow is a week since the accident and um, it feels okay. I can now take the lights, I can uh, look at the screen, hopefully do some editing and uh, hopefully have the energy to do some vlogging for the holidays. It's great to be back. So 
that's about it. I'm back guys. Uh, I'm not 100% but we're building up to it and uh, I'm really grateful you're watching. Thanks for all the support and uh, I guess this is uh, the last video before Christmas. So I wish you all guys a Merry Christmas and in my next video I will wish you a Happy New Year. So thanks for the support and watching and uh, I'll see you soon. Today we're gonna win because the goalkeeper is smoking hot, right? Yeah, of course. Every day. <laughs>